These blocks is obviously the biggest, so people try to jam as much as they can in there, which is a big mistake. Meaning when you get put the bar in here, okay, there's a notch for each side for them. It clicks in like this. You take the clothes. I, when they're long like this, I don't just stuff in first and let it follow. I grab the bottom first and go in, so it keeps from less wrinkles. Now the problem people make, the mistake, they're like, wow, this costs the most. Let's get as much as we can in here. They jam it all the way over the sides. Big mistake, because these can only hold so much weight, and then you figure when these go on the truck, bouncing in the truck, that's fine. You think you, got, you, think you did yourself a big favor by getting 19,000 coats in there, but when you open it on the other side, they're all at the bottom of the box. I'm not saying put five things in there, but you know, so you don't have to squish. I'll give you an example. And obviously, it being a, a bigger box, that means when it's full, it's going to be heavier. So I mean, since you are going to waste this space right here for now, if you wanted to put some pillows, some quilts, some baskets, I mean, anything really light, it's, it's not bad. I mean, using up most of the space in your box. I don't suggest laying heavy items and books on the bottom of a book should only go in a book box. Now I got a little bit more space, I'm not going to go crazy. If you start to bunch up, get your hand down the side and make sure it goes length all the way down. You can maybe go one, I like that, it's comfortable, not too heavy. And um, you tape it up, mark, especially mark what closet it is, if someone needs a coat when it gets a little cooler at night during your move. You know what, coat, uh, what box to go for immediately, whether it be a leather coat or if it's winter time while you're moving, you'll need one. One safety tip with these, when you do your own boxes, please do not leave these wide open. Try to push them in and if you, you put tape over these, like I'll show you right now. If you don't, it's happened to me and it's happened to a bunch of guys. They got their hands here, they go down the stairs or something, they slip out, come right up into there and you cut your hand wide open. You can go that way, maybe one around. So after pushing these in, putting some tape around them, your hand comes off, you slide right away from them. No cuts, no damage, no blood. Now there's one more thing with a wardrobe. Say the person you're packing has a ton of baby clothes. They got four kids and you want to make most use of your box. Before starting, you take another bar and stick it in. Obviously start from the bottom, get a whole rack of baby's clothes. And please, the same thing, even though you're not going to carry it from that. Please tape them up so no one gets hurt, no one gets cut, and no blood, no damage. But that way, that's the best way to get kids clothes and get the most out of your box for your money.